Welcome to another episode of C Pixel Bro. Welcome, sisters and brothers, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again. Yes. Welcome. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about retopology and why retopology is really important. So let's get started. Retopology is gonna optimize any prop and any character do you put in any game engine go into cry engine unreal unity game maker you name it this is gonna help you to optimize any character right red apology is really important for other depa departments as well like rigging rigging is, is the phase that actually next when you finish the ubs you're gonna start doing uh the hierarchy of the bones but if you understand the flow of the geometry in this phase of retopology, you're gonna have no problem or the person that actually gonna made the hierarchy for the bones is gonna is not gonna have any problem. It's gonna work flawless. No problem at all. No problem at all. So meaning retopology helped other departments like uh, the rigor and animator to understand the flow and see the different phase of the body that actually gonna move correctly right so moving on the next phase of the body like I said is UVs when you finish the UVs is you know you just go forward and finish it why because with the apology gonna consume the most of the time and the UVs it's not gonna consume so much time but texturing well, yeah, texturing is the part that actually consume. It's the second part that actually consume a lot of the time because you need to understand the PBR renders. You need to understand the texture that you are doing. How is it going to work to the material? If you are doing a master material, oh my God, there's a lot of things you need to have in your mind. That's why it's so technical doing a character. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the program. The program that I'm using is Topagon. Topagon is a really good program. I started in 3ds Max and Maya. Why? Because the school that I um, started teach me the fundamentals of this program because the AAA company used this program. Always stay in mind. Work your own flow. Find your way. Find the program that actually is going to help you. Why? Because you're going to feel comfortable. 3ds Max for me, the first time that I use it, feel amazing. But I feel limited in some of the tools he, he have, as well in Maya. When I started doing um, in Topagon, I feel so comfortable because the program is directly for retopology. And when I'm doing retopology, I'm not thinking about, okay, let's do this and this tool part. Let's go to this option, go into the next option that actually is going to make me do the retopology. Oh my god, I just wanted the program to actually help me do with apology. So I find it, and a good friend of mine actually told me about this program, and I'm doing it in this one. Uh, all my par all my characters, I've been doing it in this program, is feel awesome, really good. So I recommend you, you guys want to start with apology in this program. It's really, really good. Uh, there are a lot of documentation for this program. It's going to help you to grow. And this part is really nice. It really is nice. Really, really good program. I recommend it for all of you guys actually starting for a character and needed this phase of retopology. It's really good for a good start. Okay. The next thing that I want to talk about and I want to, first of all, I want to thank the, the artist that helping me to do the rig. It's a good friend of mine called Daniel Archia. He's doing the rig. And I'm really happy that he is helping me uh, for this series because it's amazing. It's amazing that I'm applying all this knowledge for you guys and giving back a little bit for the community. Okay. So the next time, the next thing that I want to talk is the new series coming up. There are two new series coming up. One is the fan art series. The fan art series, I already started and I need to only post the video. So a comment in the net. And the past episode, sorry, uh, you guys wanted um, Archer from Fate, so I'm building Archer from Fate. So it's a good character, it's a really strong character, 
and we're gonna start doing the face and seeing um, some of the, the different techniques and different styles out there we're gonna work around that so this one of the series coming up then is D&D &D, and I'm really pumped for that one hell yeah so the last thing that I want to talk to you and I want to apologize is for the delay of the videos why the delays of the video well this is actually good news really good news I've been working for a project uh, for a company called Meathead LLC um, right now we're a character artist for that company and we've been building a game a third person shooter called Body Man and Sanarchy I am the char uh, character designer uh, and character developer for that um, game and I'm really happy it really comes soon uh, seven months and I've been working for seven months all the team have been working for seven months and really I'm we are really proud for this game and I'm really pumped and I'm really excited because it's a good journey in my life is really happy I'm super pumped and good things are coming out for this adventure I'm taking my life um, the game is er, is in early access in Steam already. If you guys want to go out, see what the game is about, play with the devs, see the new things coming out, super. Actually, I've been doing a streaming for a week right now uh, for a new character um, for Buddy Man Nesanaki. If you guys want to go come by to Meathead LLC and see a little bit, see a little bit more about this game, hey, you're welcome. Welcome to the family as well. So. The, this the, I'm gonna I promise you this is gonna be the last thing I promise you this is gonna be the last one so I want to encourage you guys to keep working I want to encourage you guys to keep uh, pushing to the limit I want you to keep drawing keep modeling keep doing props anything you guys doing you guys are dancing or you are a reader you're a writer you are I don't know so you run bicycle you can run five miles every day you, trying to run 10 go for it don't give up why why to give up you're gonna you're not gonna gain anything you are you're gonna just lose your time and nothing so I suggest you to keep up don't give up keep fighting moving on why it's not it's not worth it stay in the same place doing nothing it's not worth it so keep up the good job don't quit I believe in you, people believe in you. If you guys need help, just come by the page. Thank you so much for your support. This is the last of the video. See you guys in the next one. Hell yeah. See ya. Peace out. Peace and love, people. See you guys in the next one.